So the topic for this evening, as I say, is about beyond transport mobility. Current context, our cities are rapidly changing. We've got changing demographics with people living longer and living more active lives as they get older. We've got increasing densification in many of our cities. Our economies are changing from heavy type economies to perhaps more service industries, more high tech. That's going to change difference in working patterns, the way people travel, the travel they need to do for work. So new forms of mobility will rise. We know that funding for projects is changing and has been changing for a while. We're trying to wrestle with new forms of financing our projects, new ways of identifying value and capturing that value to be able to finance projects. Our transit system to really capture a lot of ridership growth. We have this astonishing transit-oriented development around our SkyTrain system. So if any of you have been to um, Vancouver, if you're on your way to uh, Vancouver at some point, to see the kind of density in towers, and in fact, in some places, it envelop our, our stations is nothing short of, of remarkable. I think a lot of the challenges are around, um, for example, in our GO expansion program, which is around moving from on five of our seven rail corridors to fast and frequent all-day service. How do we make that transition happen on an, on an existing rail system? What are the key ingre ingredients in one of those transit transportation projects to support regional economic goals, growth and sustainable development? What's the key ingredient, do you think? So really thinking about, uh, about where the growth patterns are going to be. And then I think also uh, land use. You know, we have 51 separate cities in the Sound Transit Taxing District, and they all establish their own land use. We're now working on a uh, over $9 billion investment plan, two SkyTrain extensions, major upgrade of the uh, automated SkyTrain network. And that's helped fuel a really, really large increase in ridership. Our uh, ridership's grown something like 18%. We have right now $20 billion in um, active projects. We are going, over the next 24 months, we'll be work, working on 73 active projects. It's a huge time in LA. We're trying to get the mindset around, and it's not just getting riders on our system, but think differently about how we're moving our goods and how we can change that air quality. I believe in that mission, and that, that's why I'm there.